Hi, it's Brandon, and I am here in this very posh setting to bring you your January beer mail video. I hope you had a uh, nice Christmas and are dealing with your New Year's hangover as well. Uh, I have some great hair of the dog options here for you. So uh, let's take a look, shall we? Our first beer we have is another of the water series, um, the Pilsners. Uh, there was a couple last month. Um, this month we have the Czech version. Uh, so the water profile here is based on water from Pilsen. Um, let's give it a taste. It smells like a Pilsner, as I would hope. It's crisp, it's clean, a bit of a bready sweetness to it. A little biscuity, perfect hair of the dog beer right here. Cheers. Next up, we have Extra Dry Hopped American Dream. Uh, this is kind of our take on a California steam beer. Um, so you should have some hoppiness from the extra dry hopping, a uh, nice balance to a malty backbone. As you can see, I'm using the uh, Craftmaster One Mini from last year's MBCC. Uh, if you don't have your tickets yet, there are very few left for, I think, only the Friday sessions. So make sure and get those soon. We'll have new platinum and gold uh, glassware. Yeah, you get some, some bitter hoppy notes on the nose, along with malt. Oh, it's really nice. Um, the malt and the dry hopping do work very well together. It's really well balanced, easy drinking. I believe it's 4.7%. Yeah, thus the tall boy. No problem drinking this. Cheers. Next up, we have another one of our beers that we've done in collaboration with Irma uh, Grocery Stores. This is It's Blowing Half a Pelican, which is a uh, Danish expression. I am not going to try to pronounce it in Danish because my colleagues and friends will make fun of me. Basically, it just means that it is really, really windy. Uh, this is a 6% juicy IPA with some pretty cool Keith artwork. Let's try it. Kind of cloudy, light in color. Really a uh, juicy nose, really juicy taste. Uh, very little bitterness, uh, easy drinking. This is really nice. Uh, a lot of hops, uh, good stuff. Cheers. The last can in the box is our new version of the organic hazy IPA. 6.6% .6 IPA with a Bravo, Centennial, Simcoe, and Idaho 7. Um, as I'm sure you've noticed, organic beer has uh, become pretty important to us. Uh, so this is another in a series that we plan on continuing. Uh, can be quite difficult sourcing these organic hops, but we have, and this is the result. Let's try it. Nice uh, light straw color. Uh, not super hazy, but it happens, especially when you experiment as much as we do. It's definitely more uh, full-bodied than the, uh, the Irma collab. Um, you can tell it's got a bit higher ABV, but again, very low bitterness, big juicy notes. Um, there's some bitterness, but uh, I think the uh, dry hopping wipes out most of it. Really nice IPA. Enjoy. The rest of the beers in the box are all 375 milliliter bottles. Uh, and in my opinion, definitely in terms of value, this has got to be one of the best boxes for that reason. So we're going to start with a really cool one. Oh, this is Hallo Ich Bin Frederikstahl Cherry Berliner. So this is a Berliner Weiss uh, style beer with cherries from the Frederikstahl uh, orchard, which I'm guessing you're probably familiar with. Uh, it's what we use for our Spontan Cherry uh, and some other beers. So this is 5%, which is a bit higher than we normally go on Berliner Weisses. Beautiful color. A lot of raspberry, some wheat notes on the nose. Or sorry, cherries, not raspberries. Oh, that's really good. Uh, if you know the Stensbeer cherries, uh, it, you, you know this flavor. It's really great. And these, this fruit and this style of beer just works so well together. Uh, this is probably one of the favorite Berliner Weisses we make. I hope you enjoy it also. The next bottle we have also uses Frederikstahl cherries. This is the Double Bock, brewed with Frederikstahl cherries. Uh, 
So uh, what we're hoping for here is the, uh, the fruit to kind of work with the typical malty base of a double bock. It's quite a bit darker, as you'd expect, than the, uh, the Berliner Weiss. Definitely a lot maltier nose. Mm. It's really good. Um, you get a lot of sweetness from the malts with some chocolate notes. Um, I think uh, this style also really works well with this fruit. Uh, they just pair with each other fantastically. The next bottle we have is a pretty cool uh, special beer we kind of dug into our vintage stash. And so this is Spontan Beetroot. Uh, we actually haven't made this beer in a year or two. Um, like I said, these are vintage bottles, so be quite tough to find, actually. Another reason I think this box is a really great value. I know uh, beetroot and beer kind of seems like a weird combo, uh, but it can work really well. Both the sweetness and earthiness of the beetroots, especially with a sour beer, seem to uh, work very well together. A lot of beets on the nose. I'm actually quite surprised by this since it is a little bit older. The, the nose from the beets has really stuck around. They work very well together. Yeah, the, the sweetness and the earthiness from the beets and the, the funkiness and sourness from the spontaneous ale uh, surprisingly work really well. I, to be fair, I, I really dislike beets, but I really like this beer. Uh, I hope you do too. For the penultimate bottle, we have a classic Mickler beer, Monk's Brew. Some of my favorite label artwork from anything Keith has done. Uh, this is a Belgian dark ale, um, so it's 10%, definitely a winter warmer. Um, it also has Demerara sugar and dark castanade sugar, uh, so expect a bit of sweetness from that, as you should from the style. Nice uh, brown color. Definitely get the uh, the sweetness on the nose. It almost tastes like, or smells like a yeah, like a sugar candy. Ah, this is a, a great winter beer. Uh, you can tell that it's ten percent, but it's still drinkable, and it's actually not that sweet. Uh, there is some sweetness on the end from the sugar, but it, it works really well. Uh, Bring a bottle of this skiing or sledding, whatever you're doing with the kids or yourself, and it'll warm you up and really good stuff. For the last beer in the box, and maybe your first beer of 2020, we have Black Bear, a Russian Imperial Stout. We brewed it proof. It's a 10.1%. Perfect for those long, dark nights especially if you, uh, like us, are based in Scandinavia. The days are getting longer, but it doesn't feel like it. Really nice uh, dark brown to black color. That is nice. That is exactly what I would want from a Russian Imperial Stout. It's, uh, it's not overly sweet. There is some sweetness, uh, a lot of maltiness, very clean finish. Uh, also, for, does not drink like 10%. Uh, this is really nice. I really hope you enjoy the January box, and we will see you again in a month. Cheers. Mm -hmm.